Shalom, it's Moraliza with Marashali Village, and today I am sharing our ELA, English Language Arts, selections for grade four for the 2018-2019 school year. So I'm going to work in the same order that I did in my grade seven video, and so that it kind of just flows for you in case you need to watch both. Um, so to get started, I'm going to kind of repeat the same thing as an intro, and that is two things. First, um, this is our comprehensive video for everything ELA, but in terms of like um, our novels, I believe novels and writing. Novels and writing, I've done separate videos for, so you can check those out, and I won't go in depth in this video because I spent so much time going in depth in other videos. So I'm just going to probably show it to you and maybe say a few things. Second thing is I want to tell you everything that I deem ELA. That's going to be reading comprehension. It's going to be um, literature, spelling, handwriting, grammar, and writing. So this is a video that is going to include all of those things at one time. And this is what I consider English language arts for grade four for the year. So getting started. Um, is going to be our reading comprehension. So if you saw my grade 7 video, I talked about how I originally used like a Becca reading skills sheet and then I had to rip too many stories out by the second year that I used it so I decided not to return to it. Then I transitioned to reading fundamentals and by Flash Kids and it was pretty much the non-fiction version and we love that. And now I am I, I probably will still get Flash Kids nonfiction, but my son asked me because I told him that I was going to get his grammar from a particular company. I'll share that in a minute. And he said, oh, well, can I get my reading comprehension from them too? And so I was like, oh, if I like it. <laughs> and I did. So I went ahead and let him do it. So um, this is Caribbean Comprehension, an integrated skills-based approach. Book four is um, equivalent to grade four. No, that's not always the case, but in this case it is. And this is um, from Hotter Education, and they are a Caribbean-based curriculum. Actually, they the um, company's in the UK, but they write for um, the Caribbean. So he wanted to do this, and I said that was fine. And I actually like the units. Ourselves, language through our senses, um, print in the environment, friends, and water. I like what it has. Um, Kim doing. And I like that it's like focused on ourselves or even himself as an individual. So I'll give you um, some of what it looks like. Remember the first video I was saying I look for a lot of um, reading skills variety or even like literary skills um, variety. Excuse me. We're going to see a lot of that in this one. So I love it. Um, Oh, I like this one. Where do we come from? And um, this is like a little two paragraphs. And Usain Bolt is the topic of interest there. Um, there is a map of India here. And then they have to like match names with some of the different countries just based on what they've already learned. And, and I love that. Um, let's see my community so I'll, here we go before you begin you're going to interview an older person in your community you'll want to find out about the history of your community and you'll want to find out who lives there make a list of six questions that you can ask and then it has the who what why when how and then they also add do and they're going to interview somebody you also these brown people i love it interview somebody and then um they give an example so mrs peterson came to talk to this particular school and this is what she said she goes through her job or whatever and then they have answers I mean questions to answer based on that and let me see if I can show you one um, more page oh here's a fable um, the fox and the stork and so it talks about real friends and he's gonna be doing fables in his writing too so that should connect for him very well so that's what reading comprehension looks like for him and then moving on to literature he has multicultural book studies and of course that's paired with our um, history and geography this year as I've mentioned in the other video so he has 10 books that he's gonna read some of them are picture books some of them are novels so I just called it book studies 
Um, mostly indicative of nations that we'll be studying, but there are some classics and African American interest in there. And so this is the journal um, that I put together for him for the books he'll be reading and studying. Next is spelling. So once they're really little, I have phonics, and then once they um, graduate from phonics, we move over into spelling. Once they graduate from spelling, we move over into vocabulary. So my um, seventh grader's video that discusses his ELA, you see vocabulary and you don't see spelling because I replace it with that. So he still has spelling. Um, we're using spelling workout level D, which level D is um, corresponds with grade four. Um, I want to say that I am a Zayner Blouser uh, teacher when it comes to handwriting, spelling, um, even vocabulary. I, I don't mind using their books for vocabulary if I'm not going to put together my own Greek and Latin roots. Like if for any re if for any particular reason one year I don't have time to do that, I'll just buy that vocab and move on. But um, Zayner Blouser spelling is called Spelling Connections, and I love it. My oldest son loves it, loved it. And my youngest son was like, yeah, y'all can have that. <laughs> so he asked to try another one. Um, we looked at some online with the sample pages. He chose to spend the workout and he was in love. Um, we used it for the first time last year for grade three. He loved it. He asked for it again this year. And so I'm going to do it works. This is not my favorite spelling because Dana Blouser is, but it's his. And I'm willing to work with that. So spelling workout level D it is. Moving on to handwriting is Zayner Blouser. He didn't let me down there. He likes the Zayner Blouser, um, Zayner Blouser handwriting and so do I. So we'll be doing this one um, to compare. As I know that in grade, the grade 7 ELA video that I did, I told you that um, the books that are in the younger grades are a little thicker. So see this one's thicker. I think this one has like 112 pages and my oldest son just had like 70 or so. All right, moving on with writing. So I am going to begin formal writing with him um, with writing and rhetoric, grade four, just like I did with my um, oldest son. In my writing video, I shared that I loved everything about writing and rhetoric. I couldn't even think of a con. And the only thing that I think I would adjust, it's not a con, an adjustment is um, they said that you can start books one and two in third or fourth grade. And I'm going to um, stick firmly with starting in grade four. That's just my opinion though. So, you know, take it or leave it. Um, so he's going to start with writing and rhetoric book one, Fable. And then in the second semester, book two, he's going to do writing and rhetoric book two, narrative one. And then that will conclude his writing. The writing in the first um, two books, they're light and they're easy. It's just really an introduction. Um, to formal writing. So I love that for grade four. Um, in book three, which is narrative two, kind of cranks up a little bit. And so it's good that they're in fifth grade when that happens. All right. And then our grammar um, is the step-by-step -step program from Hotter Education. So the Achieve one I talked about in my grade seven ELA video is the junior high program and then the step-by-step -step is the primary school or the elementary school program so we're going to do book four which is consistent with grade four it looks like this i am just loving um, what i'm seeing i hope that it works as well in real life as it looks like it will um, in my planning life so here's a page or a two-page spread um, this is about poems so we'll read this poem here. There's some um, reading and comprehension here. Listening and speaking as well. Let's see if I can get, um, ooh, we have some grammar. Uh, working with words, here I hold it up. Rhyming words, I believe alliteration is also there. And then um, there's grammar down here as well. This book also stresses the difference between like standard English um, and then other dialects of English, also Creole, just because it's from the Caribbean. So let's see if I can find another um, grammar page for you. Oh yeah, I love this. 
I don't even I don't even think I've seen anything like this in the States. So this talks about first conditional. We use the first conditional to talk about future events that are likely to happen. If the sun shines, we will go to the beach. If you tickle the baby, she will laugh. You do not have to start a first conditional sentence with the word if. You can change the clauses around. We will go to the beach if the sun shines. The baby will laugh if you tickle her. Notice where the comma goes in each sentence between the two clauses. So then find examples of first conditional sentences in the story on the following pages and copy and complete these sentences in your notebook, use the first conditional, using the first conditional. The first one has been done for you. So A is done for him. You will be late, comma, if you do not hurry up. So then he has to um, repeat and complete or copy and complete it. B, if it rains, comma, da, 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 da. what are you going to add to it? And then he has to work his way through some of those in the next exercise. It's relative pronouns and clauses. So I, I really like this book. Um, it's brown, it's beautiful, it's cultural, and it's teaching English in a way that I really appreciate um, that is not necessarily taught in the States. And there could be a book that exists and I just don't know about it, but mainstream, not so much. Okay, so that is what we are using for grade four ELA. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to answer you. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, shalom.